All right, everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. So, I know I said there was possibility that this game wouldn't, I wouldn't be coming back to it because of the issues. Turns out those issues are just issues. <laughs> um, and that it seems like that I've got the game running at a better state than it was before. Um, I guess just to disclaim some things, I did change some stuff with how I updated Semu. So it should run a little better, change some settings in there. Um, I messed around with some stuff in the uh, uh, Radeon Relive or Relive, whatever you call it. So hopefully, hopefully everything should run a little better. Now that is to say that there won't be some frame drops. Um, we're still going to have problems with that. So I, I don't know how to fix all of it. Um, some of it seems like it's very much related to the fact that I'm running an AMD graphics card versus a uh, NVIDIA graphics card. Oh well. Um, also, it may be because my processor is could be more powerful, but I mean, even with everything I've read, it should be fine. Again, I, that's the closest thing I could come to finding a potential a potential reason for why it's running the way it is. But I'll, I'll stop boring you guys with the facts. Let's get back into the game. Where we were at last time was we got onto the pirate ship, we are on our way to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue our sister. Now remember we are playing on New Game Plus, so Link does not have his normal green tunic. Um, and there will be other things that, on top of what I mentioned in the first video, that will show up along the way. So, let's get started. We are on the trip and it uh, we start by exploring the ship a bit more. I.e. we come down here and meet our buddy. I think his name's... Uh, oh, well now. Ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. That's right, his name is Nico. Uh, now I promise, I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right, now, first off, you have to take a test. Uh, all pirates have to. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. Uh, you watch everything I'm about to show you real careful, like, so you can, <laughs> so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy Swabby brain. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to read all this. You guys, it, it, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I will say, when I was considering playing through the GameCube version of this, I got to this point, um, and I was stuck here just trying to play it and record it to see how things looked and everything, and I was like, I really hope, because it's a little different in this game. <laughs> I, in, in my opinion, they fixed this a bit, because... Uh, fixed? Maybe I just am too... I was not great at it originally, but I always jump past the platforms on the GameCube version. I don't remember that being as big of an issue with this one. Again, we shall see. I don't remember it taking very long last time. So yeah, we have to get all across these platforms. We have to meet Nico on the other side. And I believe he gives us a reward? Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Uh, so first thing I always do, reset all the platforms so that we don't have to worry about timing because they do reset. And line up the camera. Yeah, see, on the GameCube one, I would have flown past that. Like, I, that happened every single time. It was the most <laughs> frustrating thing I have... Uh, Trying to get all this stuff work. Be, be grateful it, it works. I'm grateful. It, be grateful it works here because we get the 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 pretty version of Wind Waker, and I'm grateful it works here because I can play the version of Wind Waker that isn't as chaotic uh, with some of its weird mechanics. So that was rather simple. <laughs> the easiest thing for that is just line up the camera behind the rope and directly where you want to go, and make sure the rope is right in front of you when you jump. So he's very astonished about this. Um, I wonder if it's okay to give it that to him. Uh, I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. We're the only two down here. How would you not get busted? I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's uh, your reward for the great and from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. <laughs> like being a pirate to your pirate comrades. <laughs> now. Mm, I should have looked, because I was looking to see if I could see behind him when he landed, but I don't think this chest was visibly here beforehand. Just kind of interesting things. Spoils bag. This basically just gives me more carrying capacity for certain things. Hey, Link. We reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry and get up here. All right, let's go. See you, Nico. Thanks for the cool bag. That'll carry all of our stuff. 
Not everything. We still gotta get the bait bag. That's from... That's for other items. Ah, oh, you can't roll upstairs like that. Alright. So yeah, I, again... I played through a bit of this game with the settings I set up, and things seem to run pretty well, so... We'll, uh, we'll see how they go. Uh, I'll, uh, I guess I'll say this as well, that if we do run into issues with cutscenes again, we will be using the video done by... I don't remember his name. I will make sure to reference his stuff, um, but I don't think we'll have any super crazy cutscenes just yet. Depends on how quickly we get through the Forsaken Fortress. Um, what were you doing with Nico? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't tell me you're playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? No. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> uh, there's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Yeah! To be honest, I'm not sure how they don't see us. I guess maybe they don't care that we're this far out. Oh, yeah. Little stuttery on that camera movement, but that's okay. Um, there are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be a hideout for a no good group of pirates we used to compete with. Uh, but they were just, but well, they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Interesting. Hmm. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. Woof. By that window. Seagulls follow uh, Link's sister around. So, have you seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I bet you anything that's the place that they've got your sister locked up. Yep. Okay. Looks like guard's really tight. Uh, this won't work. We'd be spotted before we get anywhere near landing there. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. What do we do now? And then she does this thing, and somehow that, like, Puts me into like some hypnosis state that I don't realize what's going on, <laughs> and now I'm stuck in a barrel. <laughs> it's just look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like this, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. I still don't understand how that like. I don't know. I don't know. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. This will be a piece of cake. <laughs> a very pirate thing. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Never fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Oh. Three. Two. One. By the way, Link has the best facial expressions ever in this game. <laughs> um, if you haven't... <laughs> you haven't followed that stuff already. It's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's holding up. Ooh, that was a little slow. Okay, eh, it, it, you get the gist enough. The audio is a little slow. I'll, maybe I can adjust the video a bit. We'll see. All right, let's see how easy it is running around the Forsaken Fortress with all this running at the same time. Um, yeah, it's obviously better when we're not a ton of stuff going on. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, that's right. That startled me. I actually forgot that that was a thing. Your sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was a little bit off. Hehe, <laughs> the look on your face, priceless. Um, hey, I slipped the stone into your pocket just before we fired. How did you do that through the barrel? <laughs> oh, I guess before you put me in the barrel. Fair enough. Fired you over. It's no ordinary stone either. Uh, I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see a, uh, the A, you like with like, almost like a sun, you better press that button. I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Okay, yeah, that's just part of the gameplay. Hey, but listen carefully. I, I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it. Do you understand? All right, now down to the brass tacks. The courtyard is a watch for searchlight, so they'll see you right away if you don't just go charging in. Better think it through. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Look, I figured it out. <laughs> um, all right, so because I played this recently... Okay, we got we gotta stop for a minute. No, we don't. No, no we're fine. We're, we're huh? Okay. Uh, because I ran through this doing some testing earlier, 
Um, we should be able to do this the fastest way possible. There's obviously a lot of things we can explore, but I'm looking for speed out of this. More than 100%, probably 100% of the game. Now, we have to get the spotlight off of the window where my sister's at because it affects how we get up there. So we need to take care of this guy. Now, we don't have our sword yet, which is annoying, but that is not the end of the world. Oh. All right, fine. We'll go... Wait. Can I shortcut this? I bet I can shortcut this. Oh, I have to go through there. Dang it. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Not that big of a deal. Still saves us more time doing this than doing things later. Um, all right. Now, obviously, frame rates should not be an issue when we're inside, so... Hoping and praying that that's not the case. All right, good. We just need to go through this door. We don't even have to swing across the gap. I'm not grabbing that. I think it's a treasure chart, but... Again, not the focus of our playthrough. Sweet. No, no, I don't need to talk to you. I'm just gonna go. Hey, bro. Um, now, oh boy, do not look that direction. <laughs> There's probably gonna be, uh, I mean, I don't know how this, this place is, seems to be the case with that. Come here. Come here. Hit me. Hit my shield. There we go. Ow. I did not do that right. Okay, hold on. Let me pick this up. Okay, A is swing. <laughs> there we go. Good. Ooh, all right, point the camera that way. <laughs> all right, so now the lights are not shining on the window, which is what we want. Um, and then, can we jump down here? Yeah, we can jump down here. Good. We can go this way. Yep. All right. We might have to play that little frame rate game with, like, avoiding stuff, but that's okay. We'll make it work. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we're here. We might as well open whatever this is. <laughs> Hey, the compass, which really is of no use to us because we don't even have the map yet. Uh, all right, I do not want to miss this. There we go. Awesome. There's a whole thing with getting caught by guards. Oh, I guess we got to do a little bit over here in a second. Um, and getting breaking out of jail and then having to sneak past all these guys. And it can take forever through here. This is the fastest way I've seen to do this, obviously without like doing glitches and crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, this is the easiest way to pull all this off. I almost messed that up because I was running around like a maniac. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's go. So I think probably what we're going to end up getting to, oh, there's a big cutscene up here at the end. I might have to cut in uh, from that other video. That's okay though. All right, so here's one of the scenes that I was talking about where these guys can catch you and throw you in jail. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. So, grab the barrel again. Ooh, I don't know how close I can get to these guys yet. Okay, this is good. Go, 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 go. Don't. 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 Okay. <laughs> Alright, snuck past them. No reason to go down the other way. This is where we get our sword. Well, not quite. We're... The sword is right th there. <laughs> but I can roll up these stairs because they're not as steep. You know, so Oof. Yeah, those searchlights are not nice for my frame rate. Oof. This is going to get really annoying. See, we just keep that the camera this direction. Things are pretty good. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right, we can play the waiting game. Yeah, it's it's better to wait than to be like, ah, no, I can make it, I can make it, because they will see things that you're like, that's ridiculous. So let these guys. Oh boy. All right, go on. We gotta get completely out of his light range, and then I... Okay, okay. Oh, don't.
Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. The problem is, it's like, well, why would they take you prisoner? It's like, we don't have any way to defend ourselves, so there's nothing we can do. Um, so getting the sword is like a must so that we can defend ourselves, and that way we no longer can get thrown in prison. Ooh, all right. Look at the wall. <laughs> all right. So let me walk at this for a minute. Yeah, so again, apologies for the frame rate issues. Um, we'll, we'll make it work, you know? We will make it work. I'm just hoping there's not a lot of issues with, like, other big major parts of the game. But again, we'll tackle it as it comes. Um, this is where the birds would be. And they would be very upset. I think you can rope swing here with the grapple, but I don't know. We don't even have that yet. What am I talking about? We're not that far along in the game. Uh, but yeah, so that's where the birds are. It's just above us. Um, and now we get to have our fight. Look how happy he is. <laughs> What's up, bro? All right, got our sword back. Oh, you actually got a good hit on me. Oh, man, you had to do that fall mechanic. That fall mechanic just makes this stuff take longer. All right, there we go, gotcha. And door up. I think it keeps you from, yeah, so you can actually can't go back. All right. Well, that was, other than a few little frame hiccups, rather painless. This cutscene might actually be okay, at least for the first part. So let's see. Aww. A few other girls in there. Yeah, this is where I'm, I'm thinking the cutscene might start freaking out. Because last time the bird was here, it just messed up everything. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> That's okay. And he's got us now. It's weird because I'm trying to react to the audio, but the video's really slow for me. So, I will make sure that is not the case for you guys in post. <laughs> oh, we get to see the spooky man. His little nod. That's a heck of a throw, too, when you think about it. That's a heck of a throw. And that, uh, we almost drowned. So somehow we didn't drown. That's one thing I don't understand. <laughs> it's like we're just floating there. Face up, thankfully. For Pull yourself together, Link. Forever and a day away from where we were at. It's like, hello. We got our boat. We got a ride now. Well, have you come to your senses yet? Hello there, boo! <laughs> well, <laughs> you're surprisingly dull-witted. Why does everyone like to make fun of me? And I hit my head. <laughs> Did I startle you? Uh, I suppose that is only natural. As, as wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon, upon it who can speak the words of men. Uh, I am the king of red lines. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Link, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister. Your desire to protect your sister. Wait a minute. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fiercely stand up to anything. Uh, but such a bold attempt was foolheartedly. 
Uh, I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now Ganon has returned. The world is once again being threatened by this evil magic. No one understands why, but all of us who have played Skyward Sword know why. Ugh. Tell me, Link, do you wish to save your sister from him? Of course. Uh, and will you do anything to save her? Yeah. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, uh, let alone by what little strength you possess. Thanks. Um, I bet it, it's like fair, you know. Uh, the key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Yes. I feel like at least with this one, Link is very much like acknowledging the fact that he's doing all of this. It's like, okay, I get it. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea, uh, but I am getting ahead of myself. <laughs> This has actually been embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. Of course. I have brought you to the east of the dark haze, dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island uh, is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. So, I mean, it, he says, like, well, how did you get me here? Like, you can travel on the boat with, like, a coasting thing, but you cannot sail at any speed. Okay, so I tested a lot of this island while recording, and it ran okay. Assuming that holds here, we should be good here. Um, yeah, seems like we should be good. It looks like we should be good, yeah. Um, alright, we need money. We need money. We need 80 rupees, I think. Ooh, it just doesn't like me cutting the grass. That's like Link's thing, we're gonna cut the grass. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't wanna talk to you. Don't wanna talk to you, cause... You take so much time to talk to. Um, alright. So we've got a farm rupees, and I know where a bunch of them are. We can't talk to this guy yet. Oh, I thought there was rupees back here. Dang it. Um, we do need to free this guy, so this has got to be part of our task anyway. And there are rupees in here. We have to let Tingle go. Uh, all right. I don't think there's any rupees in these, but it doesn't hurt to try. Yes, we'll let out Tingle. <laughs> we'll let him out. Yay! You're welcome. He's so weird. I don't use them. In the GameCube one, they gave you the like a Game Boy tuner, and you could use the Game Boy Advance connector in the GameCube for stuff, but I never did. All right, come on, let me let me done talking. All right, so if none of the jars in here have rupees, then we need to go. Oh yeah, this is the chart to his island, which we will need later in the game because he can decrypt maps. Oddly enough, um, so yeah, we'll use him later in the game, much later in the game. Actually, we gotta get all the way to the. Whoa! Okay, I don't. I don't care. I don't want any. <laughs> um, all right. So first, let's get this. All right, and out. And oh, come on, grab the box. Thank you. All right. So the trick with this game is just go right. But if the floor is ever wood in front of you, or go right as much as you can. If you need to go left, then go left. But always like go to the right. It's like a maze. But if there is ever wood in front of you, do not go right. 
Do not, do not go in the direction of the wood because there will be... You will have to start over. And I will explain that. See, there's some wood. Don't do that. I'll show you why. Because it's a good way to get out of here quickly. But, doing this... There's some more rupees. Take the rupees! We need them. I think I made a note of that in the last video. Like, I tried to collect some, so this was much less of a process. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what, what is going, what is going on? I haven't gotten this yet. <laughs> wait a minute. Why, why do I already have the picto chat? <laughs> why do I already have this? Huh? <laughs> I don't understand. Um. Oh, shoot. Uh. Guys, I was supposed to get that out of that chest. Why do I already have it? Well, now you know where to get it. I don't understand why I already have it. That's a little strange. Um. I really hope my game saves aren't jumping between each other, because I've got another playthrough I'm doing of this game. Well, anyway, I guess we'll take it. We've got some, you know, some more rupees, which is what we needed. Now, here's the quick way to get out of here. Uh, if you go on a place that there's a wood spot, there is a rat. And... Yep. <laughs> so, but it's a nice way to get out, so you don't have to crawl all the way back. There we go. Hello. You have no idea what I was doing. I was getting money. All right, we need 13 more rupees, which I should be able to get to around town. And the nice part is that this pot respawns whenever you leave. And it's five rupees every single time, which is great. Goodbye, uh, person. All right, and there's more rupees right here. Mm. Nice. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can do anything here. That's okay. Uh, alright, um, we got 77. Ah, we need a little bit more. Oh, I know where to get one. There's one. Wait. There we go. Gotcha. Um, let's go down here. Before we talk to him, there is another one. I guess I've got 80, but since I'm doing this, I might as well just get some more. Ew. I'm just keep hitting the wall. Put my sword away. Alright. Ooh, wait, there's another one. Nice. Um, all right. What's up, dude? Got a sale for me? I keep... There we go. Better. Oh, I'm not going to read this text. Basically, he wants me to go free this person that's... I think it's his son? Yeah, I'll buy it. So, if, if you talk to him before, he's like, please free my son. Um, and then you have to give him 80 rupees to get the sale. Um, I don't know if there's a way to actually get 80 rupees without just running in and out of rooms, because that's how you can do it. <laughs> just respawn all the pots and then run around and collect everything again, and then just do it over and over a couple times. It won't take long. Um, but it's a little faster with what we just did, because I collected more on uh, Outset before we came here, which is good. All right, get away from this guy, um, and then we can go. There's not much else we can do here. Like, as much as I'd like to do more, we really can't right now. Hello. Yes, yes. All right, so we can't do anything. We have to sail. Do you understand that? All? Yes, not like the owl that says, do you want me to say it again? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're using the pro controller setting for our Xbox controller. All right, so let's get out here. Now, we have got to sail at the mercy of the wind for the moment because we are going this direction. All right, so this was a big thing I really wanted to test when I was testing out how well the recording was going to work, how well we sail in the ocean. Uh, I will say whenever it loads in new things or loads in a new area, it does get rather um, stuttery, but that's kind of the case whenever when you're not recording. So, But yeah, we're going to go to our first big location. It's exciting. Um, ooh, we do need to start making some more money. But yeah, we are on, we're doing going to be a lot of sailing. So I hope everybody's ready. Boy, it got real upset with frames there. Okay, it's alright. 
we just have to deal with the little glitches that appear with that, so. And then just enjoy the music. Um, you can get a lot of rupees this way. Come on. If you got the wind to your back, you can get a lot of rupees. Seagulls! Look, I love you, but you're in the way. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get a 10. We're gonna get to Dragon Roost Island quick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Just, just give me one 10. Nice. At least I got one. I don't think I'm gonna... Will I get another one? I got one. Are we gonna get another one? <laughs> nice. Look, I'm back up at 80. Woohoo. Ooh, we're getting close now. Yep. It's gonna kick me out right about... Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now we're done. Now we just sail to the island. So yeah, this is Dragon Roost Island. There's a dragon on the top, obviously. <laughs> All right. There, on the horizon. You mean right in front of us? That is our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. Oh, the frames are not being nice. <laughs> Come on, let me have control now. Oh yeah, this is, uh, let's see. High atop this island peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Volvo. Or Vol Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> it's Velo. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Dim's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. I almost forgot. Just a, wait just a moment. This is a Wind Waker. It is a baton uh, of sorts that is used long ago when the people played music uh, in prayer to the gods. Of course, they give this to you after they get you, so you can't just go run off on your own, because you can't even get back on the boat yet. And in those days, sim simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but uh, I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. Okay. All right. Boy, this is going to take some time. Because we've got a bad angle with really bad frames. It's fine. It looks fine here. We go back to me. It's like, <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Oh, I love it. Nope. Really slow for four times. <laughs> This is so that's so stupid. I love it. He doesn't show us that. Thankfully, we don't have to do the six four time. We don't use that till way later in the game. Okay, thank you for letting me not have to do that again. Ugh. All right, let's go back over here. We'll do this now, just so it's out of the way. We'll get our first song. Oh god, I'm sorry, Link. All right. Oh boy. Um. All right, this is the song we use to control the wind. And the frames are so bad. <laughs> it's just going to be the running joke of this entire playthrough is how bad the frames are. Uh, and meet this dude. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. Like, hello, frog sky man. My name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. Uh, so you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice uh, wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control of the direction of the winds. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. If you want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. Uh, it saddens me to say my brother, Cyclus, is miffed about... His monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So, if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. We won't run into his brother, or won't we be able to, to be able to, in, like, oh, okay, come on, we got this. Just look down, just look down. <laughs> we won't be able to do anything with his brother until a lot later. 
All right, can we not be dealing with the atrocity, which is the frames at the moment? Thank you. Oh, boy. Right, here we go. Oh, look away. Look at the ocean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> eh. All right. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to be a little more bearable, but this is pretty bad. Ugh. I don't know what it is. There are some things in this game that just make the frames freak out. Um, I don't, man, I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> go, 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 whatever it is I'm looking at. See, as soon as we get past a certain point, it's like, we're good now. It's like, yay, all right, thank you. Um, all right, let's get across here. <laughs> Uh, oh, gall. All right. Thanks, camera. Didn't want to do that. Oh, why did you change? You didn't do that when we were on the Forsaken Fortress. Whatever. Right, I want to get... Oh, gall. We're fine. We're fine. I want to get inside. Oh, gall. We're fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Smoke. Oh, hey, it's what's-his-face. Oh, please don't look at somewhere else. All right, this is okay. We can be here. Link. Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. Your sister, is she... Well, not great, dude. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. You should... Would you like to meet uh, our chieftain? Yes, that's why I'm here, actually. I... I've told my people about you, and all of the Rudo are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our, uh, of our Airy. Uh, I settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Oh, please don't come inside. I'll be waiting. Please don't pan the camera towards him. That's the direction of badness <laughs> and bad frames. <laughs> please give me control again. All right, let's... Nope, nope. We're looking at the ocean. <laughs> We're, we're looking at the ocean. <laughs> now I get inside before it catches up with us. All right, see, we're inside. Should be much better. No, not yet. Yeah. Hello. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Uh, Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We have to do everything in our power to assist you. However, at the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. Like everybody's got crap they're dealing with. It's just, it's like, ugh. Uh, when you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? It wasn't raging at the moment, at least not when we looked at it. As you can see, we, of uh, the Ruto tribe, are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valo. When a Rudo reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost and, uh, to receive a scale from the great dragon. Uh, it is this scale that enables the Rudo to grow his or her wings. Am I saying that right? Is it Rito? I don't know. Uh, recently, however, the once gentle Valo has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. Uh, if this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valo on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. <laughs> Lobo zoomed in, it's like, hello. <laughs> uh, as a chieftain of the... Is it Rito, Rit maybe? I'm probably saying that wrong. Oh, well. Um, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. Rito? 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 I'd say we'd be like... Gradically to be right -o, but that's probably not what it is. I don't know. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you Will you do so? Well, of course. I don't mind. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kama... Oh, I did not read that. As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. Well, thank you very much. I feel certain that Princess... K okay, Kom... Kamali? Princess Kamali? Something like that? would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. 
Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What do you say? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you will you meet with my son? Sure. I thank you. Uh, we will do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may help better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named uh, Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. See ya. Alright. Here, Link, take this with you. Uh, who knows? It might come in handy. So... <laughs> All the upgrade items, like, hey, we're gonna give you all these bags to hold all your stuff. Basically, they're giving you all the inventory expansions at the very beginning. So, in the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. I have no idea if I'm saying these names right, so I don't care if it's how they're meant to be pronounced. It's how I say them is how they're gonna be pronounced. Um, all right, so I know it, we're we're running a little long on this part, but I wanted to get things set up so that we can go to the dungeon. Hey, it's Medley. She's one of my favorite of the side characters. Um, Ral, you really do have. <laughs> What? Oh, this is great. I'm glad we went and did this. Wow, you really do have blue clothes with a picture of a crawfish on them. I, they changed the, the the text. I love it. So you're Link, right? Oh, me? I'm an attendant of the great sky spirit, Valo. My name is Medley. Uh, well, to tell the truth, I'm not an acquaint... Uh, oh, oh, attendant, sorry. Attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince uh, Kamali. Uh, you accepted father's letter. This letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you've recently... Since you've recently... Or since you've just received... Oh, man, I can read. Find delivery bag. Why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you wanted, uh, okay, yeah, we're talking about game mechanics. I'm not gonna read those. Um, the room way the way back was on the first floor to Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. Uh, when you meet him, please don't get offended by his manner. Yeah, and he has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, Link. Uh, by the way, listen, Link. I have a small favor to ask of you. Could you please uh, come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything there. So, I realize this might be a long part, but I think what we're going to do is get to the entrance of the first dungeon, and we'll go from there. See, I've done now a few steps. I just jumped off. Um, and we'll, then we'll call the part. Try to make some decent progress, because, uh, again, we're trying to make the best of it with the frame issue here, and I'm really curious with the first boss fight how much it'll be, because it's only one big room. It's not like it's rendering an entire area. All right. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, we got to do some... Do some... Alright, there we go. Hello! A letter from my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valo. Uh, you're in this letter, too, you know. Poking your nose into other people's business? You're nosy, aren't you? Not really, actually. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale for him, from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valo down? <laughs> uh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. <laughs> Jeez, this kid. I'll tell you what, if you can find uh, me s someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valo, then I'll listen to to anything you say. Well, you're talking to the guy that is going to just save the world, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's... We're going to try to make as much progress as we can. It'll be a long video, but that's eh, fine. Progress is progress. Um, now, I think she said to go... It's not out here, is it? It's over here, yeah. Yeah. All right. This is going to be the test because there are particles flying all over in here, and that's this is not where we want to go. Um. Never mind. It was over here. I'm dumb. Um. Okay. Let's get in here. Oh, come on, Link. Come on, me. Was oh, it really down there? Oh boy, this is a. Oh. Oh, guys, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. 
All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna try to hurry through this as fast as we can. <laughs> Ooh. It's not bad. There's like angles where it's really bad. Ugh. Can I get like angles where it's not super bad? Uh, let's see. We're gonna try to get through the text quick, so I'm not gonna read what she says, so. You're welcome to slow down the video and watch it. It's already slowing it down for you, so. Oh. We gotta get through it. We just gotta get through it. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Any of you, uh... Played. I haven't gotten to it in Ocarina of Time yet, but when you run around with, um... Oh, that's Princess Rudo. Why am I saying Rudo here? This isn't the Rudo. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong people. It should be like Rido. Rido! <laughs> Probably Rido. I'll go with Rido. Alright, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> look at me run in slow motion. We're just making it look cool. That's all we're doing, is making it look cool. All right, all we gotta do is stand here and wait for the wind to point the right direction. Yay! You're welcome. All right, now give me the bottle so I can uh, get over there with you. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. This is like one of the most valuable items in the game, so thank you. <laughs> It'll be our secret. Yes, all right. <laughs> um, all right. Do get some water. If you remember, there is a bunch of plants up here, and those plants look a lot like dehydrated uh, bomb flowers. So let's go. Let's go get some. Whoop! There, here we go. And. Nice. Nice. Good aim. And good timing. Sometimes you don't. You, you throw it too soon and it lands in the water and goes out. Come on. We can do this. You got this. You can do it. <laughs> frames. All of those frames are gone. <laughs> Alright, let's get over here. Let's get this done. Nope. Oh, that actually worked. Good. <laughs> that did not work. Oh, that's right. I remember this. You have to do it with, like, an angle. There we go. Did that not work? Oh, that not work? I can English sometimes. Oh, shoot. Nice. Camera kind of wigged out on me there. All right, let's get in here because this, oh, stairs. Ah, we are inside now. <laughs> not that that will make anything easier on the frames, but. All right, so I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this for this game. Obviously, there's still some major issues with the frames. I have tried to make it work as best I can. Um, I'm not looking to drop like hundreds of dollars to get myself a new processor or a new motherboard and a new graphics card. I just got a new graphics card. Um, so here's what I think what's gonna happen is we'll play through the first dungeon, and if uh, I mean, even then, I don't know if, know if it would be worth it. Uh, we'll play through the first dungeon, at least, so we can get through the boss fight. Um, if the boss fight is not playable, like, to a point that it's, like, almost impossible to beat, that would be a good indicator, because it's a lava fight, and that'll be a good one. If it's really bad, 
then I'll probably put this playthrough on hold until I have a better setup that can better handle the resources that Semuse needs for this. So, <laughs> again, it'll be early apologies if that happens, but, you know, obviously I want you guys to have a best experience um, to enjoying this, and I want to be able to enjoy it as well, and it's obviously when the frames are so bad that it makes it almost impossible to play, it's not worth it. So, that being said, if, uh, if that does come to that, I will start this series over, but we'll play the GameCube version of it. Well, so we'll end up playing through both. I did want to do that eventually anyway. We'll just do it there. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully we'll be able to keep playing this. We'll let this dungeon be the big indicator on how things go moving forward. Uh, but the next video, next part, we should have, we should be able to get through the entire dungeon. So, yeah. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.